Hello everyone. In this video, we will talk about uterine relaxant drugs. All the drugs which relax uterine musculature are called tocolytics. These drugs are used to suppress pre-drum, premature labors. They are also called uterine relaxant tocolytics. The classical tocolytic is oxytocin receptor antagonist. Oxytocin receptor antagonist, which include atosiban. Okay, atosiban. The atosiban is an antagonist of oxytocin receptor, but it is not FDA approved, so that it is not mentioned here. So, what are the important drugs which relax uterine musculature? And the mnemonic is: It is not my time for the baby. It is not my time. It stands for endomethacin and for nifedipine. M stand for magnesium sulfate, while time T stand for terbutaline. Endomethacin is what non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs. The non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are divided into two classes: reversible and irreversible. The reversible include ibuprofen, endomethacin, okay, naproxone, while irreversible include acetyl salicylic acid, which is simply called aspirin. The first drug which is used endomethacin, which is reversible inhibitor of cyclooxygenase enzyme. The cyclooxygenase has two isoforms: cyclooxygenase type one and cyclooxygenase type two. The type 1 is expressed in non-inflammatory cells, while type 2 is expressed in inflammatory cells. So, the non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs inhibit cyclooxygenase enzymes, which decrease prostaglandin production throughout the body. The prostaglandins are important for uterine contraction. So, by inhibiting the production of prostaglandin, these drugs are used as tocolytics. The prostaglandin include PGE1, prostaglandin E1, which relax smooth muscle in ductus arteriosus, and this is important in the management of transposition of great vessels to maintain patency of ductus arteriosus until surgery. While prostaglandin E1 derivative include misoprostol, which activate prostaglandin receptors. It causes increased bicarbonate and mucus secretion in stomach. So, bicarbonate and mucus secretion are the protective agent which are important in peptic ulcer disease. Also, it causes uterine contraction. So, it is used as abortifacient. So, by opposing the production of prostaglandin E1, so we can relax uterine musculature. Other prostaglandin E1 analogs include alprostadil which is used for rectile dysfunction while prostaglandin E2 analog include dinoprostone whose lower concentration causes contraction of uterine musculature but in higher concentration it relaxes uterine musculature so it is used for abortifacient and cervical ripening while prostaglandin F2 alpha derivative include latanoprost which in increases outflow of aqueous humor, reduce intraocular pressure, important in glaucoma. The next drug is nifedipine. Nifedipine is calcium channel blocker. Nifedipine is discussed in the Sevius pharmacology in the anti-hypertensive drug nifedipine. The nifedipine belongs to a class which is called calcium channel blockers but these calcium channel blockers have moderate effect on vessels and weak effect on heart so these are used for hypertension and angina management these are calcium channel blockers there are other dihydropyridines their important side effects are constipation they also causes risk of myocardial infarction especially from nifedipine. Next is magnesium sulfate. Magnesium sulfate has many clinical application in the GIT. So GIT pharmacology, we will study magnesium sulfates. Next is terbutaline. 
terbutalin you have to memorize the mnemonic a t m a t m a for atenolol no atenolol not s butalol not l butalol a for l butalol t for terbutalin m for metaprotinolol these are beta 2 receptor agonists which are also used in acute asthma first line agent for the treatment of asthma terbutalin so this was all about uterine relaxant tocolytics hope you have liked this video so hit the subscribe button and stay tuned